Okay, Tony, we have speed. In three, two, one. And you are live. Hi, I'm Tony, back with more practical drone pilot business strategies. As a solo drone pilot running your own business, you're in the thick of it. You're juggling flights, managing clients, handling paperwork, and figuring out how to generate consistent income. It can feel overwhelming, especially with the unpredictable nature of gigs and the endless admin tasks. Today, I want to address those very challenges you're facing. The practical strategies I'm about to share will help you secure steady income, streamline your workload, and reclaim your time in the air. It's not going to be about theory. It's about actionable steps you can apply right now to more profitably thrive in your one-person or small team drone service operation. Drone Pilot MBA, Startup Success 101, that's our focus for this special issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. Thanks for joining us. Look, I get it. You're out there flying drones, handling clients, editing footage, and doing the paperwork all on your own. It's a lot. Some days, it probably feels like there's just not enough hours to get everything done. Not to mention the wildly unpredictable revenue flow, which doesn't help matters. Another one of our Fellow drone colleagues, Randy M. from Vista, California, writes the following. Hi, Tony. I've been working my drone business for the past year. Things are picking up and getting hectic. With so much to do, what's the best way not to feel completely overwhelmed? Thanks for helping me grow my business, Randy. Well, the thing is, Randy is right. We're not just a drone pilot. We are running a full-scale business by ourselves. That's no small feat. And it's a bit nerve-wracking. But with a few smart strategies, we can create more consistency in our income. We can cut down on the busy work and minutia and get back to what we love most, flying and growing our drone service operation. Inside this issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, I'm going to first define the top three problems facing every solopreneur drone pilot. Then, I will give you a few practical action steps to consider and perhaps implement profitably into your one to three person aerial operation. Our first challenge is keeping our income steady. The worry is drone jobs come and go, and I don't always know when the next gig will be. For a one-person drone operation, income can be unpredictable. Some months may bring in several well-paying jobs, while others might be slower. The key worry here is that it's hard to maintain a reliable, consistent cash flow, especially when relying on one-off gigs. This can make long-term planning difficult, including covering expenses, managing taxes, or what we all like to do, invest in new gear. To solve the worry of keeping your income steady, here are two action steps. The first action step is to offer monthly service contracts. 
Why does this work? Monthly or quarterly service contracts provide stability instead of chasing new jobs every week. Securing long-term contracts gives you a guaranteed income over time. Here's how to do it. If you're providing drone services for real estate, construction, or agriculture, approach clients with a recurring service model. For example, a construction firm may need regular site inspections or a real estate agency may want monthly updates on new properties. Package your services in a way that offers discounts or added value for long-term agreements, making it a win-win for both sides. Our second action step for keeping your income steady is to diversify your services. Why does this work? Relying on just one type of client or industry limits your income potential. If you diversify your offerings, you can tap into multiple revenue streams, balancing your workload and cash flow. Here's how to do it. Beyond real estate or aerial photography, explore industries like agriculture, crop monitoring, livestock tracking. How about construction, site mapping, progress reporting, or even insurance, post-disaster damage assessments, etc. Research the industries in your area that can benefit from drone technology, then craft services that cater to their specific needs. Offering multiple services ensures that when one area slows down, others can keep your schedule full. Up next, we talk about handling the important paperwork more efficiently. Our second challenge is handling admin work and the paperwork. The worry is how to efficiently handle all things other than flying. As a one-person operation, you're wearing all the hats. You're the pilot, the editor, the marketer, and the accountant. In managing invoices, tracking expenses, and filing taxes, it often feels like a burden that takes away from flying drones and generating income. Without a system in place, paperwork can become overwhelming and lead to stress when tax season comes around. To solve the worry of keeping your drone service operation more manageable, here are two action steps. The first is to automate your invoicing and tracking. Why does this work? Automation cuts down on time spent doing repetitive tasks and ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. It also helps you maintain a professional appearance by sending invoices on time, tracking payments, and organizing receipts. Here's how to do it. Use simple tools like QuickBooks Self-Employed, FreshBooks, or HoneyBook. These platforms help you invoice clients, automatically track your expenses, and generate financial reports for tax filing. They also sync with your bank account, so you don't have to manually log every transaction. This saves time, and ensures you stay on top of your finances. Our second action step for handling admin work and paperwork is to set aside 25 to 30 percent of every job for taxes. Why does this work? Tax obligations can sneak up on you, especially when you're responsible for self-employment taxes. Setting aside a portion of every job ensures you have enough to cover quarterly tax payments and 
avoid a big tax bill at the end of the year. Here's how to do it. Create a separate savings account for taxes. Every time you get paid, immediately transfer 25 to 30% of that income into the account. Automating this process through your bank can make it easier. That way, when it's time to pay taxes, you won't be caught off guard. This system also helps reduce stress, knowing your taxes are covered on time. Our third challenge is about maximizing your time in the air. The worry is how to find more time and resources when you're already feeling tapped out. Time management is a big issue for solo drone operators. You're responsible for everything from flying drones to editing footage, maintaining equipment, managing clients, and finding new gigs. It's easy to feel stretched too thin, and without prioritizing, it's tough to focus on the most critical tasks, like finding those high-valued clients or expanding your drone skills. To solve the worry about how to more productively maximize your time in the air, here are two action steps. The first is to outsource editing or admin tasks. Why does this work? You can't do everything. By outsourcing time-consuming tasks like video editing or administrative work, you're free of more time to focus on flying, serving clients, and growing your business. Here's how to do it. Platforms like Fiverr, Upwork, or Freelancer offer a wide range of freelance professionals who can handle tasks like video editing, invoicing, or even social media management at affordable rates. Outsourcing editing, for example, can give you more time to take additional flight gigs while letting someone else handle the post-production. Start with small, manageable tasks to test out the freelancers. Then, build relationships with those who understand your business needs. Our second action step for maximizing your time in the air is to prioritize high-paying jobs. Why does this work? Not all gigs are worth your time. Focusing on higher-paying clients or industries lets you do less work for more money, which is crucial when you're running everything solo. Here's how to do it. Identify industries that pay premium rates for drone services, real estate developers, film production companies, and large construction firms often require specialized drone footage and are willing to pay more for quality and expertise. Tailor your marketing efforts to these clients, and don't be afraid to turn down lower-paying jobs if they don't align with your long-term financial goals. Quality over quantity is key when you're a one-person business. Up next, a bonus tip. We talk about the power of staying visible online. Here's a pro tip. This strategy is about how to stay visible online. The worry is, I don't have the time or skills to market myself and I'm not getting enough leads. As a solo drone operator, it's easy to get so caught up in flying and handling clients that your marketing activities wind up in the back seat. The worry here 
is that without a consistent online presence, potential clients may not even know you exist. You might feel like you don't have the time or expertise to manage social media or marketing efforts, but the lack of visibility can directly impact your ability to land new gigs. When people can't find your work, leads dry up, and your business slows down or worse. To solve the worry about how to stay visible online, here is a practical action step. Even if your marketing isn't your thing, regularly posting your best drone footage on platforms like Instagram, YouTube, or LinkedIn can grab the attention of potential clients. You don't need to post every day, but consistency is key. Showcase different types of jobs, whether it's stunning real estate videos, construction site surveys, or even event photography. Visual industries like drone services thrive on video content, and this is an easy, high-impact way to demonstrate your skills. Why does this work? Staying active on social media helps you stay top of mind for potential clients. It builds your reputation as an expert in your field and can create a steady stream of new business opportunities. Plus, it's a low-cost, effective way to market yourself and keep your name out there without needing a ton of time or technical skills. The more you show, the more people will think of you when they need a drone pilot. Okay, here's the bottom line. You don't have to do it all alone, or you don't have to do it the hard way. Focus on locking in clients with steady recurring work. Automate boring admin tasks like invoicing and taxes, and prioritize the jobs that actually pay you what you're worth. Outsource when you need to, and free up your time to take on the gigs that really move your business forward. Stay organized. Stay sharp and watch your business take flight. You've got this, and I'm here to help you make sure it happens. That's a wrap for this Drone Business Strategy Session, Drone Pilot MBA Startup Success 101. I want to thank Randy for his great question today. You'll find more information and important links pertaining to today's strategy session in the description below. Also, I have written and published over 150 articles related to drone business expansion strategies to help you grow your business wisely. Help yourself to all the available free resources to help you fortify your drone service business at aerialnorthwest.com. I hope you found today's insights valuable. If you did, please do click the like button and please do subscribe to the channel for more practical drone pilot tips and tactics. I will continue to work hard to bring you the best of drone business strategy. Like Randy, should you have questions or you'd like to share your ideas for future episodes of Drone Pilot Business Strategy Magazine, do drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and fun flights. I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. Good, I like it. I like it. I like it. I... <laughs> <laughs> to more profitably thrive. To more profitably thrive. Do I have lint on the shirt? Because last time I had like a really crazy hair on my shirt most of the time. <laughs> Managing invoices, tracking expenses, and filing taxes. 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 <laughs> As a soldier in Jeva you're in the thick of it. <laughs> Testing one, two. <laughs> Test, are your ears bleeding? 
You're juggling flights. Should we have like balls? I could do some juggling if you want to. <laughs> As a sole drone she may throw the ball and I could juggle. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.